okay now we're going to inspect the underneath portion of this motor coach. I would start at the front of the motor coach and we would look at the torsion rod, torsion rod bushings both there, the radius rod bushings, we would look at the brake rotor for any cracks or deformity, rust buildup. We would look at brake pad lining thickness. Check the things here. We would check tie rod ends for looseness. Rock the wheel, please. No visible looseness. Also up here on the tie rod end, we would check for looseness. No looseness. Shocks are secured securely, fastened securely. Torsion rod links are appear to be fine, no visible air leaks, no air lines rubbing on frames or other metal issues. Okay, we'll look at the frame of the bus. There is no apparent rust holes, no apparent flaking. Everything appears to be solid. The air tanks are mounted securely. Everything looks good. Now let's move toward the rear of the coach and look at the floor of the baggage bin and the structure ability of the main structure of the bus. Okay, for the understructure of the bus, we would check the plywood floors. It appears to be structurally sound. Any nuts and bolts, make sure they're tight. All the welds appear to be good. No holes in the structure. And nothing's been bent or altered from an accident or anything. Everything on this bus looks fine. Okay, now we're into the drive area of this motor coach. Um, I would check the securement of the air tank. Check the bushing right there. Um, check again the frame for any structural bowl, rust through anything, air bags. I would check the air brake system for leaks. Driver, apply the air brakes. There are no visible air leaks. I would have the driver watch the gauge and make sure there was no drop in air pressure as long as there's not. It's a pretty good signal that the air, um, the air system is sound. Driver, release the brakes. And then I would move over to the brakes on this vehicle. Just like the front, we're going to check one side, but on a real inspection, we would check both. Um, just like the front, we would check the integrity of the brake rotor. No apparent cracks. Okay, now we would look at any protective structures to protect the transmission and engine. They look fine, doesn't appear to have any collision damage. We're looking for any kind of leaks um, at all, be it oil leaks, um, transmission fluid leaks, fuel leaks, anything. This bus here looks normal. We would come to the back here. All the filters appear to be dry. Um, everything looks normal for a motor coach. And this completes the underneath portion of the motor coach inspection.